Here in Helsinki, you'll find an impressive structural ensemble composed of buildings from various eras. The fortress-like original section was severely damaged during the Finnish Civil War, repaired and later expanded as an office complex. Through meticulous restoration, the building, which now also functions as a restaurant and hotel, was expanded into the inner courtyard in a way that is imperceptible from the outside. Well, the approach starts with the recognition of the existing urban condition. There is architecture from basically three different eras. The original Jugendstil building from 1908, uh, which is the one with the tower and uh, the, the natural stone facades. Then there was the extension from 1920s, which is more classical style. Uh, and then there was a 1955 edition, um, which presents, let's say, uh, typical Finnish 50s rationalism. So there were these three different eras of architecture into which we introduced this new layer of architecture. Commissioned was the architecture team K2S. Their task was to bring order to this irregular conglomeration of structures, while also accommodating 170 hotel rooms between the existing buildings and the new unconventional extension wing. They succeeded in employing space and materials in a way that both stirs the senses and reacts to its environment, something that is rooted both in Finnish tradition and in the curiosity for unconventional solutions. The challenge for us was to to uh, show something contemporary uh, which would then play together with the existing styles. The slightly curved structure clearly dates to the present. Its whitewashed brick facade lends the hotel a uniformly defined silhouette and stretches like a translucent curtain across the building, granting necessary privacy to the recessed lodger windows. The hotel extension is only revealed in a few subtle details on the street facade and the vitrified lobby of the old structure, in which a recessed passage leads to the entrance. To us it was quite a nice thing that we could actually kind of hide this new building and only reveal it to the visitors when they enter the quarters. And what is important to us is that through this new addition, the inner courtyard of, of, the, of the building and the block, it, it, somehow becomes the new heart of the whole block. It definitely was not the case when we entered the project. It was just a service courtyard. But through this new arrangement, the whole block, in a sense, gets a new life. The soft geometry, it comes from the idea of flow of, of space and light in this quite a tight courtyard. But on the other hand, it also grows from this intention to create a strong new identity to the building. We have made changes to the old buildings as well. There are some carefully chosen strategical moves we did, especially for the 1950s part, where um, we completely cut open the ground level for the hotel lobby and entrance. Additional conference rooms were added beneath the inner courtyard, only perceptible from above by these glazed light pools. The largest of these rooms accommodates 300 visitors. The guest rooms are spread throughout all three historical structures and range in size, furnishings and ambiance. Only the rooms in the new addition have balconies. The translucent brick facade is composed of custom-made Wienerberger bricks manufactured with elongated holes and braced with steel bolts. The white brick, the choice of the material, it, it is very contextual to us. There are very light surfaces surrounding the new addition. They are mostly plastered surfaces, but the brick is the main building material of these buildings, so it's quite relevant in that sense. And the color, it truly grows from the relevance between the old and the new. We developed a completely new customized brick. These oval-shaped holes in the brick were especially measured and, and, and designed for this brick in order to, to leave enough room for the steel bracketing, which actually enforces the curtain wall. But also the final texture and, and finishing of the, of the visible surfaces 
uh, were quite carefully developed for this project. No product on the market as such would have um, been compatible for this kind of solution. We needed to develop something new and uh, and since we we could do this with Winneberger, uh, the result is as good as it is.